Hello world, I'm Lokarp. Welcome to Fights in Tight Spaces, which is a uh, deck building card battler with some uh, tactical aspects in it. And as per usual, it's just easier to start a new game and try to explain what the game is, because you know, you can quite easily see it. Uh, so we are going to pick our difficulty here, we're going to pick Classic. And the only important here to really look about the difficulty here is that at least one movement card from the player's deck will be drawn each hand. That is important to know. We could pick a draft mode, but we are not going to do that because we're going to play with one of the pre-made decks. We're going to pick uh, this Agent 11 here. There is something that is kind of like a storyline here, but it's not really. It's just, oh, we have things that you need to take care of. So, uh, first of all, if you buy this game as new, all, uh, all of these decks are going to be start as locked. You only have the balanced deck to start with, these other ones are locked, but I've already played this game quite a lot, so I have all of them unlocked. But yeah, we're gonna play with the balanced deck here. Uh, these are the cards that we have in here. Uh, I will talk about more about these cards once we actually draw them in game. So let's just select the deck, and we're gonna start with the Death's Head Biker Gang mission. Uh, you could start with any of these missions, but you don't really gain anything from starting a later mission. You just start with the starting deck from that point on. So yeah, we're gonna start with the first mission here. Uh, here is training. This is the tutorial. Basically, maybe wanna go through that once and uh, then just jump always gonna start here. So there are some Nordic biker gangs that are led by Santa Claus and we need to deal with them. I mean, they're not actually led by Santa Claus, but uh, you know, that's uh, what we're gonna be talking about here now. Or we're gonna be... we. As we are playing this, we're, that's going to be our head cannon. That these are guys that are led by Santa Claus. These are Santa Claus's elves. Okay. So first of all, things about the UI. Up here we have our enhancements. I think they are called. We can get four of them through the game, and these two are locked. There's another enhancement that can unlock these, but it's a very useless because it just unlocks them and doesn't give you anything else. So uh, it's just. It's quite useless. Uh, we start with an emergency move. Gain an emergency move card at the start of each fight. So this is the emergency move card here. It allows up to move two tiles. We have a couple other movement cards here as well. So with movement cards we can move like in straight lines up to the number as much as they allow. And you can clearly see here we got step here and dash. Step is a bad card. Step is the worst card in the game. Okay, uh, we have here the missions we need to do here. Uh, we need to defeat the enemies. So there's gonna be three Got one here, another here, and a third one is gonna come from uh, this spot here. There is a sign to show that enemy is gonna spawn here. And if we complete the fight within six turns, we get some extra money. Or we get some money. We don't get any money if we don't finish this in uh, six turns. Uh, we have here our main stats. We have health, that is 40. If we get damage, uh, we lose health. And when health goes to zero, we die. And we can heal in certain places, uh, so the health is ongoing. And here's our combo meter. Every time we do an attack, uh, we gain combo, and every time we move a square, we lose combo. We have three momentum here, that is what it is called in this game, momentum. For some reason there is also this other number here that shows us how much momentum we're gonna gain next turn. But it's, like, very useless. It's, I think they, originally they had this thing where you could gain more maximum momentum and then you would only gain three momentum per turn, so you could, like, you could start a turn, like if you get, went to zero and you had four to begin with, then the next turn you would have three out of four. I think that's what they used to have, but I don't think that that's not how it works anymore. We just gain exactly what is our max momentum. The enemies here, they have this sign here that shows if they have any special abilities. Now it's just a hand sign here saying that they are going to attack this turn. Here is a number that tells... Uh, the order of actions for them. So this guy is going to go first, and then this guy is going to go next. They, they both have 20 health here, uh, and if we hover over them, we can see more stuff about them. So this guy has a short range attack that deals 6 damage, whereas uh, this guy has a deals 5 damage and one push up to two tiles away. So push means that he's going to push us. Some attacks do that, and that is important for this little place here. Well, for most definitely for this little place here, because this is uh, the edge, well, we got edges here everywhere. There's a hole in the edge of the this little 4x4 map here. And if we manage to push someone out, or if the enemies manage to push us out, that is an instant kill. So that is a good thing. Also, if you've seen this game before and this looks kind of different than you are used to seeing, that is because I have dark mode turned on. If I turn dark mode off, uh, 
this is what the game would look like, but this, like, this is, this hurts my eyes. So I am using the dark mode because of that. And also I have the entity information and hazard markers always on. So if I were to remove entity information, uh, then... Hmm, I thought that was the thing that showed this, because uh, you can see here, so we got all to show info reads here. Uh, normally, the default is that you don't see this information, you only see it when you press Alt. But, uh, okay, that's entity data always visible, right? That's the button, so if I take that... No? <laughs> okay, it might be that it would need to go for the next turn for that to actually go away, but anyways. Uh, so if it looks different than what you're maybe seeing in some other things, that is why. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We got some moves. We got a counter here. So counter adds block. Block is... well, it's block. <laughs> so it means that this guy is doing 6 damage, this guy is doing 5 damage. We're gonna be taking a total of 11 damage here. Uh, but if we were to use our counter and block here, then we would be taking no damage because we would have 18 block and they would only eat 18 of our block. And uh, we also have a hammer fist here, which is an attack. It's the only attack we have. So yeah, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the counter and we are gonna play the block because the counter also says the deal 10 damage to incoming attackers so this guy's gonna take 10 damage because he's gonna hit us this guy won't because he's gonna push us away so we will not be next to him when his attack action ends so we're not gonna do the countering for him so let's uh, hit this guy with the hammer fist it's not a very powerful card at the beginning but hammer fist is in my opinion the most powerful card in the game well not maybe the most powerful but he's one of the most powerful game cards in the game because it deals one damage per combo, but we can upgrade these cards later on in the game. And once we do that, this will deal two damage per combo. And our combo will be increasing quite a lot during basically each fight. We're already at one, and we're not going to be losing any at here. And I don't think we're going to get combo for this, uh, yeah, for that counter attack. Okay, next turn, we're keeping this emergency move card in our hand because it has this lock symbol here. It means we retain the card at hand at the end of turn. Okay, and now we got things to do here. So first of all, we got front kick here, which allows us to deal damage and push a character or advance deal damage and push. So we could use this and move here and then we could kick this guy out of here. And then we could like shift here for safety. Shift here allows us to move. Also shift allows us to move through enemies. If there is empty square here, we could move there. There is not, so we can't move there. And pushing, well, this only pushes enemy once, but when we push someone, uh, well, we could push this guy against the wall and he'd take 4 damage, but I'm not gonna do that because we also have a quick strike here, so I'm just going to deal that 8 damage and get rid of him. Then I am going to, yeah, do the front kick here. I'm gonna kick this guy and he's gonna be pushed, so because how the way front kick works, we advance one, then we pushed him one. We have a long strike here that allows us to hit uh, for one or two squares. So this is basically how the cards read. There's the momentum cost, there is the range, there's the damage. Uh, this symbol here means that we are going to move when we do that, uh, play that card. Uh, this is how much we can move, it's a movement card. Uh, this symbol here, so push. And if there is this uh, exclamation mark, it just means that there is something special about this card. So for instance, this will, this has a couple of special things, like the thrash, trash can here, not thrash can, trash can, means that we are, it, we can play it once and then it's out of our deck for that fight. It will come back into the next fight because we have this skill. Uh, and some other cards have that effect as well. But yeah, let's just do the long strike here. Get a little damage in there. And then I wasn't paying attention to the amount of momentum I had. So I cannot shift away from here. So we're gonna use our emergency move here. Uh, the emergency move is, is it's a good thing to have occasionally, but it's not like the best thing ever. Okay, so here we have a, a combo card. To play this card, we need to have three combo. And it means that we need to have that. It does not spend our combo. This is basically a free card now. Well, except for the fact that this has this uh, X here, as has this card as well. This means that they it will remove all of our combo after we play this. So this also has this advancement here. So if this if uh, someone was here and we'd use this to attack them, we would then advance to this square. Uh, we have Hedge Mass here. Hedge Smash has this symbol. That means that the enemy is going to turn to face us 
after we've done this attack. So you basically, if you're using this, you want to end people with this. Also, this has this annoying thing. This card, you can't see it in the symbols, but you get you gotta read the text here that says slam target into an adjacent wall, edge, or object. So if there isn't one of those things, you can't even use this card. So I don't really like that card that much. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna quick quick kick this guy, because quick kick pushes, and there's something behind him. He's gonna take four damage from the kick, and then he's gonna take four damage from hitting that object, so he's going to die, like so. And then we have 18 or 17 damage here. Uh, well, 18 is more. So let's just do that. And you can see that it will cost us no momentum. But like I said, it used all of our combo because that was an effect of that card. If it had not had uh, this symbol here that it uses all of our combo, we would not have lost any combo in playing at that. And then we can, all right, we can use head smash because head smash Head smash is just, you know, costs just momentum. It does extra damage for a combo, but, uh, you know, we didn't need that extra damage right there. Okay, so we finished the uh, this uh, battle, so we got a new card, and we can complete the fight within six turns. Well, we did complete it in six turns, and we got a little bit of money. So we can take a card here. Okay, well, here is a combo card that doesn't spend combo, and this is a rather good card. So we're just gonna take right spin kick here. Uh, we could also just skip, which is gonna be something that's gonna happen uh, after we got a good amount of cards in our deck. Okay, and here is the kind of map we're following. If you're played like Slay the Spire, this is going to look very similar. This is a bit more simplistic, because, you know, don't wanna maybe make that many choices. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna check hover over these and we can see the mission data over there on the right side. So this is a fight in men's room with four targets and the rewards are a new card and some money. In the loading alley, uh, it's just, uh, well, it's just a different location. We're gonna go for the men's room because we can wanna go for the gym. Medical is for healing, we don't need healing and honestly, I hardly ever go for medical. Like even if I'm at like five health or something, I just don't go to medical because I expect not to lose any health in every single fight, so. Yeah, okay, well, we'll go for the men's room here. Uh, we got four targets here. We'll see how we can do it. Probably, once again, like, finish the fight in six turns or something like that, because that's what the beginning levels are usually are. And then we get some more... In okay, reach five combo. Okay, not the exact same thing I was thinking about. So let's think about this. We got three momentum. We're going to have to use one momentum to use either slip or step. We're going to be using slip, because slip is a much better card. With slip, we can go diagonally. Uh, if there is an enemy nearby, like we can go diagonally into these squares, but we can go diagonally over here because that's what Slip does. It is one of the best movement cards in the game. So we got two attacks that we can do, and because we want to reach combo to be high, I think we're just gonna smash this guy over here with both of our attacks. Do a little bit of damage over there. And then we're just gonna slip here. And the nice thing about slip here is when you use the move to either side of an adjacent enemy ability, it doesn't spend combo. Because just moving a one square would have spent combo, but moving this diagonal thing, it didn't. Like, I don't know if that's a bug or if that's uh, intentional, but you know, I'm gonna assume it's intentional because we're actually using the card for uh, what it should be used for. Okay, now we get a nice situation here. Uh, well, not that nice, really. Because I, I still want to reset five combos. That's what I was, I'm was i thinking about here more. But yeah, it doesn't look like we can do anything really smart on this turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to dash here. And then we're going to use our quick kick. And you can see here is the area where you get out of the level. And we're going to kick this guy who's at full health at this point. We're just going to kick him. And he's dead. Yeah, he got into the void. And he's dead now. All right, and then just uh, for... I mean, there's absolutely no reason to play those block cards here because we're not going to get attacked, but it's just one of those things that I always do is uh, just just to make absolutely sure I'm safe, I just do that. Okay, well, this is fun. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to push this guy out of here. Also, at this point, one thing I should maybe mention is that I am... Very often when I play this, I, I look at the cards, like I glance at the cards, and I see a move in my head that I can do. And then very often I will just do that move, and after I've done that, I'll be like, wait a minute, if I had done this and this and this, it would have been a better move. So uh, be prepared to see a lot of that happening. Okay, but what we're going to do here, because we really want to reach that 5 combo, is we're going to Hammer Fist this guy over here, because Hammer Fist has a range of 1 to 2, so we can hit 2, and it doesn't move us. Uh, but 
front kick here does move us. I mean, it doesn't really... We don't really even... Actually? Hmm, okay, so if we front kick here, we're gonna do 6 damage plus 4 for the wall. So that is a total of 10 damage. And then we can right spin kick this guy as well for a total of 16 damage. And he's gonna move over here then, because the right spin kick pushes the target to the right. If we... What I was originally trying thinking about doing, and this is exactly what I was talking about just when I was gonna just uh, use the front kick to attack this guy, and then we couldn't use the right spin kick for anything. So if we do it this way, we are gonna get more damage out of it. And I'm pretty sure if I hadn't started explaining uh, about the thing that I do where I just don't always see the best moves, I might, I probably would have just, you know, done the original move I was thinking about and then be like, oh damn, we could have done it better if we'd done it this way. Yeah, but you know, for, for, for once in my life, that's not what happened. Okay, we got another hammer fist here. Ooh, that's, oh, man, two, two hammer fists, if we get to upgrade both of them, is going to be very powerful. A dodge is also very powerful. A dodge just says, uh, the next incoming strike deals zero damage. It's not even that deals zero damage, we just completely dodge. It, it just doesn't, it, it will not affect us. Uh, actually, I'm not... Yeah, I mean, I, th I think that's true for all enemy attacks. Because there is one card that we can have, that we can play, uh, that kinda goes through dodge. Like, it won't do the damage because of dodge, but it will do its effect. Which is kinda strange. Actually, another thing about a lot of cards might do this. And then we have Nerve Strike here, which deals 4 damage and applies a minus 2 damage modifier to the target, and it does not trigger auto attack. We don't know what auto attack is yet. Oh, well, I do, but you don't. So uh, we're gonna talk about that when it comes up. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna take another Hammer Fist. Now, unfortunately, uh, we do not have enough money to upgrade our Hammer Fist. Ooh, Shop. Shop is a very good card. Uh, so, because upgrading cards costs a different amount. Uh, depending on what card you're trying to upgrade. Uh, Hammer Fist costs 120 bucks, and that is what we really want. I, what are these pounds? I think they're pounds. That's the pound sign, right? Yeah. But what we're gonna do first, first here, we're gonna remove Step. We're gonna mo remove Step from here, because Step is a silly card, and if you remember, we look at the way the uh, difficulty works at the beginning, we're always gonna draw at least one movement card, and now it will never ever be Step again, so that's good. And we're gonna by shove. Shove allows us to push a target to the left or right from their current position and uh, it's it's powerful. It's it's quite powerful. Okay, so we lost our step card and then we're gonna have to check where we want to go. So here is an event. Uh, events in this game aren't really that interesting. Like I have found that it's usually not that good idea to go to events. There are certain times when you want to go to events uh, but yeah, I don't think we're in a situation like that. Man, if I hadn't spent all of that money, we could upgrade one of our hammer fists at the next gym. Well, that's not gonna happen. So what we're gonna do is, yeah. Okay, well, let's go for the bar exterior right now and then think about where we're gonna go after that. I mean, I usually think about it, like, immediately. I already know we're gonna go for the gym, because gym is always a better option than healing. Like, always. Because with healing, you can just heal or you can increase your max health. I have never found a real reason to do that. Okay, so what we got in this situation here, we got an enemy that has block. Uh, this guy gains 5 block at the start of each turn. We have an enemy here with a range attack, so he will shoot in a line. He's, as you can see here, uh, yeah. if we were not here, this line would go all the way here. And then we have a shotgun biker here who will shoot in these three squares and uh, she will also push us. You can see that arrow there, that means that we're gonna get pushed and uh, you can see this cone here and that uh, three times ten just means that she is hitting uh, three squares for ten she's not hitting us for 30 even if we don't like do anything here but this uh, kind of does not look very good for us so what I think we're gonna do here because we have a lot of block here we're just gonna put on all of this block and the counter so we've got 24 block and uh, yeah uh, we're gonna be taking 28 so we don't want to be in this square instead we're just gonna go here now, uh, we're gonna lose 10 to her attack and 4 to being pushed. And then we're just gonna hit her for 10 because of our counter. Like so. Simple and easy. Okay, now what we are going to... Damn, we have pushes, we have... Okay, 
Okay, okay, I can think what I... Hmm. Okay, well, let's... Okay, yeah, yeah, we're just gonna do this. We're gonna shift here. Get through this guy, and then we're gonna quick kick him. So, he will go there, and these both will shoot at him, and he will be dead, I believe. Yep, he's got 19 effective life at this point, so yeah, he's gonna take 20, he is going to die, and we can't play any of our other cards. I mean, we could, but there's really no reason. I mean, we could maybe dash... Nah. Let's just, let's just not do anything. Because if we move, uh, we lose some of our combo, and we do have some cards that kind of like to like combo. Okay, so, yeah, we're gonna be slipping here, and I think we're gonna start with that, yeah. No, 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 we're not gonna start with this. We have, yeah, we have Hammer Fist in our hand, so we want to keep our combo as high as possible, so we're gonna start with the Long Strike, and then we're gonna Hammer Fist, so goes. now Hammer Fist does one more damage, and actually, do we have a combo finisher here? Yeah, we have a combo finisher here as well. Hedge Smash we can't play because there is no objects or walls or anything beside her, so we just can't do that. So let's just use the combo finisher, get a little bit extra damage in there, and then just slip over here, and then she's gonna be shot. And that is good for us. Okay, you got four life left, so I think I'm gonna use the hammer fist to hit you. Uh, I am going to, so we got two attacks. Let's think about this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, if we use the front kick here, we're gonna do 10 damage because he is adjacent to a wall. And then we can just shift to safety, and uh, that will be good for us. Uh, what were our missions here, actually? Okay, complete the fight within four turns. I I don't think that's gonna happen, because this guy is all the way here. It's gonna be quite hard to get all the way there. Uh, we can maybe try and do that. Mm. Can we kill this guy with a hammer fist and a quick kick? No, but we can block enough to not get hit by this guy, and then we can... All right, we don't have. All right, we do not have enough things. Uh, but still, still, slipping here and doing the quick kick is gonna get more damage in there. That's a total of eight damage, and then we can just shove this guy over here so he won't attack us, and we have the block for that attack. So that was quite okay. Uh, hmm, this is not good. Okay, just so that we can maybe complete this fight within three turns, I'm just gonna dash here and uh, emergency move all the way here, and then I'm going to quick block and counter. Uh, the counter is gonna do nothing, it was just some block so that we don't get damaged by this attack. And now we still maybe have a chance to finish this in two turns. Let's see, okay, we have no combo at this point, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shove you over here, because that's gonna give us one combo. And that one combo is going to give us enough damage so that we can actually do the hammer fist. And that is going to give us enough combo to actually do the right spin kick over here. And then we can... Ah, oh, Man, we're one damage off. Because once we're da if we dash here, we're going to lose one combo. And then the hedge mass will only do 14 damage. So, because we're not going to be killing this guy this turn, I am just not going to take the damage instead. Would I really like to kill him? Oh, your game came right here. That's nice, because I think we can kill you this turn now, because we do that. Uh, we're gonna take some damage here, though. But I think taking damage, yeah, it's better... It's better to get the money, because we're gonna be taking, what, two damage? Yeah, because the counter... Because now he is next to us, even though he's got he's shooting, we're going to counter this attack. We're gonna take two damage. That's fine. Two damage is nothing. Life is a resource. If you have any life left by the time you end the game, you haven't used your life resource as optimally as you could. Okay, we get a new upgraded card. That's nice. Okay, so we get quick block here, that upgraded version. That goes up to 12. We don't really want that. Uh, I don't really use block that often. Like, I prefer to just not be hit instead of using block. Now, I've been using block now because we have block in this deck, so I gotta use that a little bit. We get throat punch here that deals 10 damage and stuns a target. When the target has no block. Now, what this actually means is that we need to deal at least one damage to their actual health for the stun to take hold. That's an uh, important thing to know, because there is also an effect called bleeding in this game, where it actually works 
what it says here that deal x amount of bleeding when the target has no block it actually if you do exact amount of damage that the uh, opponent has block it will get bleeding but it won't get stun it's weird and there are a couple of these things in this game that i think like i think they came out of early access maybe a month too early they should have really worked on some of these things that are still in this game a bit more before they actually released this game like this was released in december early december yeah i i personally got this uh, for myself as a christmas present and i've been playing for like uh, since then i got like i got like 60 hours on this game already so there's a okay so this guy here has auto attack auto attack means that if we are in this square and we play an attack or a movement card uh no let's say let's it goes like this if we end in this square after we played an attack or a movement card this guy will attack us back so what we're gonna do now because we don't want to be in this square and play attacks what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our front kick to go over this way get this guy down and then let's look at the uh, have two enemies killed by enemy attacks okay we probably won't get this money because I don't think we have very good ways of repositioning the enemy so they would attack each other Ooh. but yeah complete the fight within six turns that should be doable and actually getting combo to be higher uh, this will increase our maximum combo is going to be good because hammer fist is going to be the thing that deals the most damage in our deck uh, so we really just want to have more combo available for us okay uh, we could slip away from here but we got the counter here we got the quick block so why not just be here because uh, this guy doesn't have the range to attack us and this guy is doing only six damage so he's going to die now like so okay uh, push and shop okay push and shop are the kind of cards that will help us uh, get these enemies to deal damage to each other I don't think we really have anything useful we can do here like we can go here and push this guy to this guy they would both take four damage but they have five blocks so four damage does really nothing uh, we could push this guy over here uh, I mean we could shift here then push then emergency you know what? let's let's do that just to get these guys to attack each other a little bit this is what we're gonna do we're gonna shift here like so we're going to push this guy then we're gonna do the hammer fist at this point just to get a little bit of damage in there uh, we're gonna use our emergency move because otherwise we're never gonna use it we're gonna shove that guy there he's going to do his auto attack and then both of these guys have a target now, so they're going to be attacking each other. And another one of them is going to die, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, that's just the way it goes quite often. Okay. Ooh, we got Taunt here. All right, so Taunt. Uh, well, first of all, it's a special card, so we can play it here, even though we're in the auto attack range. So we're not going to get hit by this guy. Uh, what we can do with Taunt is we can get this guy to attack this guy, because that's what Taunt does. It just... It, what, what does it actually say? Also, like, I, I this... The game has, like... This is an absolutely great game. I love this game. This is... The, the actual gameplay and the mechanics are super good. But they really should ha have someone in the team that had a better eye for UI design. Because this... Like, right now this doesn't look so bad. But when we got, like, 20 cards in our uh, discard and we're looking at it, uh, it's gonna look horrible. But yeah, Taunt says, force an enemy to attack immediately, the enemy will not attack on their turn. So, yeah, we got some damage in there, and now you got four health left. Oh man! Oh wait, 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 it works! We're gonna use right spin kick here. Uh, for, sometimes it's hard for me to differentiate between left and right, because I was thinking we have left kick, and we would kick this guy over here, and he'd do some damage there. But no, what we can actually do is we're gonna kick this guy over there. He's gonna do his auto attack, and this guy's going to die. Nice, okay. So we still have a long strike here, so let's just long strike this guy. He's gonna get one damage in with a block, that's fine. And I'll just play the block. That's just what I like to do. Okay, so what do we got here? Can we get, because if we wanna have enemies killed by enemy attacks, we need to, like, one of these guys needs to kill the other guy. Uh, 18 with the combo finisher over here. Uh, won't quite kill this guy. Okay, do we have, like... Okay, we still have our actual push in our deck and our actual shove. Okay, shove and push are still in our deck. So if we can just get these guys to, uh... Hmm. 
Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. We're gonna do combo finisher here, get this guy to very low health, and then we're gonna do a quick strike here uh, to get this guy to very low health. Right, so now they're both at very low health. If we can just get one of them to attack the other, it should be fine. Uh, no, he's not gonna do enough damage to go through. Okay, 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 actually, yes, yes he can. Cool. We're gonna shift here. We're gonna... No, we should have hammer fisted first! Damn it! Because if we had hammer... Oh, man! Okay, I, I'm gonna tell you why I misplayed that, because there's a very simple reason, and that is the fact that the upgraded version of Shift doesn't actually spend any combo. It, What you get when you upgrade this guard is, card is you get... It says, do not use any combo to do this. So I was thinking that that was what was uh, going to happen, that we weren't gonna lose any combo, we would do the 5 damage, but no. Okay, well, this is unfortunate. Hmm. Well, we're just gonna kill both of them with the counter, and so we're gonna complete the fight within one turn, because that it's, it will count that uh, as still being that one turn, but we can't get them killed by each other, which is unfortunate, because I really would have wanted that money. Yeah. Got the combo, didn't get the money. Like I said. Okay, so we got a hook kick here. Get, deal 8 damage, gain 2 momentum next turn. And we got a scratch here. Deal 5 bleeding if the target has no block. And like I said, if the target has no block, means different things for bleed and for stun. Which I'm pretty sure is a bug. Or it's uh, like the rule text isn't correctly written for one of these. Because they, they have the same text, but they work differently. Uh, but bleed is super good. But so is momentum. Let's take the hook kick. Let's get some extra momentum. Then go for the gym. And uh, let's see if we get any cards we want to upgrade. You know what? Let's Instead of upgrading cards, let's just remove quick block. Because quick block, uh, an upgraded version of quick block isn't that useful. And let's see, we got 20 bucks left. I think we could maybe upgrade long strike with 20 bucks. Yeah, let's upgrade long strike. Like that's, this is the, I think the weakest upgrade in the game basically. It just adds three damage. Usually you at least add at least four to six damage to a card when you upgrade them. Uh, this is uh, only three. I think it's because this is one of the rare cards that have like two range. Most actual like strikes don't have, or it's one to two range. Most cards don't have one to two range. Okay, so we gotta go for the jukebox bar right now. Okay, so new Dude here, this guy will charge up to 3 tiles to deal 10 damage, he's got 9 block, and he is heavy, he cannot be down. Now, we, d we haven't seen any cards that could down enemies anyways, so that doesn't really matter at this point. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna shift to this square, that is going to be the end, so we got two more things we can do. So what I think we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna, oh no, 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 no. I was thinking we're gonna head smash this guy, uh, and then he... Well, then this guy would kill him, but I kind of maybe want him to shoot at this guy. So if we long strike here and hammer fist here, yeah, let's do that. Let's long strike here and hammer fist here. Uh, now he's got no more block and he's doing 10 damage. He's, you're doing 10 damage once we shift over here. Uh, and you, oh, oh crap. Uh, okay, so. What I did not realize would happen here, which is gonna happen, we can we can still stop it from happening, but I'm gonna explain what would have, have happened here. Okay, so this guy goes first. He's gonna charge here, brrr, attack this guy, bow. Then this guy would act next, because he's two here. He would kick this guy and push him to us, which would cause us to take four damage. Uh, like, he takes 10, uh, is, it, is, is four, four damage worth getting 10 damage into this guy? You know what? Uh, we're just not gonna take that. So we're gonna use uh, Taunt here. We're gonna force this guy to attack this turn. Like, he doesn't have a target, so he isn't attacking. But the other thing about Taunt is that the enemy will not attack on their turn. So this guy won't attack this turn. We can just end the turn. Get this damage in here for both of these guys and be happy about that. Okay. Then... Well, we're gonna push this guy against the object to get a little bit of damage there. Uh... We're going to slip here and shove this guy over here and this guy will kill him. Oh, and we got a combo finisher here as well. So let's do some extra damage in here. Just five. 
but you know, it's still a little bit of damage. And that guy's dead. Okay, uh, this... Ooh, this is a bad spot right now. Right, well, we're gonna have to dash to this square and we're gonna have to prawn kick this guy to put him there so that he won't attack us. So that's two of our cards. Uh, so we got hook kick left. Okay, well, we're gonna hook kick you. Hook kick will give us two momentum next turn. We're gonna have five momentum next turn. We're gonna prawn kick this guy. And then we're just gonna dash out of the... Oh, wait, we got a right spin kick here. Let's do that as well. Oh, that's no damage. Did I have that? No, I didn't have the ability to do that before I front kick this guy. Okay. Just, it did increase our combo count though, so that's good. Oh, this is, uh, hmm. Well, we're gonna shift here. So... Damn it. No, wait, what we're gonna do is, yeah, we're gonna shift here. We're gonna counter and we're gonna do a hammer fist. Oh, we're, oh, we're still taking some damage though. I for once again I forgot about push. Well, you know what? Let's not take two damage. Let's just instead of just use emergency move, come here and quick strike this guy, and we won't be taking any damage. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like a turn where we can't really do much. Yeah, can't use hedge smash. Uh, Head Smash is also one of those cards that I use, like, like to get rid of. Oh, wait, 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 I see what we can do. We can dash here, and we can, you know what, let's just Hammer Fist you. Get that combo up a bit, and shove you there, and then you are going to attack that guy. Okay, at least got some damage in there. How many turns do we have left? Three turns left. Hmm. That might not be happening. Okay, so we gotta slip there. Okay, we want a hook kick for sure. I mean, we can slip there. Oh, yeah, let's slip there. Why would I slip there? We can slip here, push you, and you will kill that guy. Okay, yeah, slip there. Uh, yeah, let's do a long strike push, because that will give us two combo. The front kick would have given us just one combo, and we're not doing any damage to this big guy anyways, so it doesn't really matter which cards we use. Okay, now, please, 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 please have a good amount of damage in. Well, oh man. Okay, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the right spin kick over here. We're gonna shift here. And then we're gonna combo finisher. That's not gonna be quite enough damage, but we only need to do 5 plus whatever he's got. So 14 damage uh, this turn. Yeah, and we got a quick strike and a long strike. That will do it. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, what are we getting here? Okay, so we got stun dart, which is a stun, long range, another combo finisher, and ready up. Add to conditioning. Conditioning. The next time you get blocked, gain 50% extra block. This is the kind of... If you're playing a uh, block-based deck, you really want conditioning in your deck. So this would be very good if you were, like, playing block. But we're not playing block. So what we're going to take is the stun dart. Then I'm going to look at how many things do we have left here. One, two, okay. Three more fights before we're done with this level. Okay, so we're going to do all of those fights right now and uh, put a cut afterwards. I was thinking maybe this has been going on for long enough, but no, we've passed the halfway point of the level, so we're going to go for all the way to the end in this particular thing. Okay, so what we got here? Money, money. Money combo. Money, money. And an event. Okay, we don't want to go there, because if we go here, uh, you can see these lines. Like, th we can only follow these lines. If we go for this event, we can't go to the gym or the medical. Uh, we could go for this event, and then the tattoo shop. But we still head for the gym. But I want to upgrade at least one of our uh, hammer fists before we get to the uh, end. So let's go through these things that will actually give us money. Or I mean, events can give us money. But we're probably not going to get... You know, I don't know. You know what? Let's just go for an event so you can actually see what the events are like in this game. Oh! Your usual trainer is making a rare trip to London. You managed to fit in an extra system. So we could learn a new move or we could upgrade a move. Of course we're going to upgrade a move. And the move we're going to upgrade is the Hammer Fist. Because if you look at this right now, it does 4 damage and then 1 per combo. Uh, if you upgrade, it does 8 damage plus 2 per combo. That's super good. Like, that is super good. Okay, well, some of the events in this game are good. 
But mostly it just feels like uh, playing the uh, like playing the fights is more fun than going through the events. Okay, so what do we got to do here? Reach five combo, complete the fight within six turns. Okay, so we're not gonna be using combo finisher here. That is for sure. Uh, okay, you guys have two range. Yes. Right, and you also, uh, if the target has no block, they receive a random injury card. At this point, I'm not sure if that happens. If I like, if I had seven block and they hit me, would I get the injury or not? I don't know. I haven't really tested that 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 much. Okay, we're gonna do a front kick here. Get some damage on both of them. We are gonna do a long strike as well. And then we're gonna slip here, because slipping doesn't cause any combo to be lost. And we really don't want to lose any combo over here. Like, look at this! Our hammer fist is doing 12 damage here. Like, that's insane. Okay, we need to do three hits this turn. I think with a hook kick over here. And a hammer fist over here. And another hammer fist. Yeah, we're gonna reach the five combo and we're gonna kill that guy. And uh, it doesn't really matter what this guy is. There is like most definitely we're gonna. Oh, uh, <laughs> I was like, we're we're gonna kill them in four turns. Yeah, no no problem. They got 62 health. It might be a problem. Okay, right spin kick right is this way. Yes. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna taunt them. And they will lose their attack for this turn, and then we're gonna dash over here. We're gonna quick kick. We're gonna quick strike, and we're gonna right spin kick. Yeah, I mean, I think like if we just get our hammer fist back in our hand, we should be able to deal with this quite easy. Okay, we'll do the push. So that gives a little bit of damage. Uh, I'm just gonna block and. Honestly, why am I doing that? I can just slip here and shove her to the wall. Well, luckily I had <laughs> the, the uh, momentum to do all of that. Okay, and then right spin kick you to the wall, first of all. Gonna quick kick you through the object behind you. I am going to long strike you over here. And I think we'll... Com okay, the combo finisher will finish you and we don't need the combo for anything right now. So we'll just finish you off. And yeah, we get a new card and a good amount of money. And ooh, that is exactly the amount of money. Ooh, broad shoulders. Increase push collision damage by four. Remove on play for duration of fight. So you play this and you get this thing for the entire fight. Uh, it's quite nice because the amount of push damage, if you have the cards for pushing, you can do a lot with push damage. A bob and weave here is move one tile, add one dodge. Costs two, so. It's not that good. And then we have a right spin kick here, which we already have in our deck. So I think we're going to take broad shoulders here. Because yeah, we have shot, we have push, we have a couple kicks that push. Yeah, having a lot of push is good. And then we're going to for the gym. And ooh, we could buy Rising Knee from here. This is a kind of nice card, but sometimes hard to use because this has that the, the tile behind the target must be empty unless the attack will KO the target. Cannot be countered is also a very important thing about this card. A lot of these cards have these little things like that cannot be countered here. That you just gotta read what the card does to know it. Uh, I would also prefer if that was somehow marked here, like, like they have already they have the symbol. The uh, the uh, what's the, uh, taunt has the symbol. Yeah, this uh, exclamation point symbol. That means that hey, you to know what this card does, you actually need to read this card. Uh, I would prefer if it, these kind of cards that have that kind of things would also have that sign here. Okay, let's upgrade the other hammer fist, and yep, that's basically that is our damage for the rest of the game. We're not going to be needing any more damage dealing cards in our deck. We're going to take some, that's for sure, but that we could we could go with just that. If we just manage to increase our maximum combo throughout the game. Okay, so here we have Santa Claus uh, that we need to defeat. We don't really need to care about these guys, so... What we are going to do. Now, one of the things that Santa Claus here has is that he will turn to face target. So when I'm going to slip here, uh, he's going to turn to face me, which is kind of dangerous. But we also have shove in our hand, so we're just going to shove him there. Uh, first, we're going to hook kick him. And then we're going to shove him into the crossfire. And because we were in that square, uh, both of these guys were targeting at us. Uh, they are now targeting uh, the boss, and they will both shoot at the boss. That's always nice. Okay. 
So, what we can do here... Yeah, we're just gonna use a front kick to... Okay, the boss also has two range, which is important to know here. So we need to have a way to get out of the boss's way if we kick him over there. Uh, what we're gonna... We're gonna spend our emergency move here, because I'm gonna go here, and I am going to right spin kick this... Well, right spin... The boss! I'm gonna right spin kick the boss. Then I'm gonna quick kick him... Get a bit more extra damage in there, and then I'm gonna emergency move out of the way. If I can see a use for emergency move, I will use that because quite often I find that I end uh, when I have that enhancement. Well, you always have that with this uh, this deck, but I quite often find myself not actually using it. Okay, so the boss is dead. That was pretty simple. We get a new enhancement and we get a little bit of healing for completing the fight in a uh, number of turns. Oh, so we can get fast heal, recover 6 health after completing a fight. We can get fast learn. All purchased cards are automatic. Oh, it's purchased cards. Oh, this isn't the good one. There is uh, another enhancement that says that all card reward cards are automatically upgraded. That is super good. And then there's a bonus move. Gain a free movement card each turn. You know, I think I'm from this I'm gonna take bonus move because fast heals, well... You only need heals if you're gonna take damage. Uh, there are some self-damaging cards, which uh, taking fast heal would make it so that we could take those cards. But, uh, uh, nah, I'd rather do it the other way, that I first take the card. But then I will never take the card if I don't take fast heal. Mm. But bonus move is very good. Like, we gain a free movement card each turn. Uh, it's the kind of card that says that if you don't play this as a first card, you're gonna have to discard the card. But we still get it every turn. And we have our emergency move. And we will always draw a movement card from our deck, so we we are going to have at minimum three movement cards in our hand at the beginning of every turn before we use our emergency move. So yeah, that's very powerful. Because sometimes you need to get to certain things on the map to do a mission. So I'm gonna take that. And yeah, good work and stuff. And then on next on the agenda is the insiders. But we're gonna do that in the next episode, and we're gonna put a cut in here. Now, since this is the first episode of a new series, I would uh, ask you to... If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, please press the like button. Uh, I will never ask again on this series. But yeah, that's it for now. I'm Glocarp, this has been Fights in Tight Spaces. Goodbye, bro. Thanks for watching. See you next time.